How's it going? I'm alright. I got a couple minutes here, so let's have a chat. My mother. My Mormon mother. My Mormon mother had four children in the span of six years. Four boys. Four boys to which I am the eldest. So in between her husbands, I was the man of the house. And so it was my responsibility to wake up in the night and babysit my mother while she was having seizures from overdosing. scooping her tongue out of the back of her throat, making sure she didn't hurt herself, and smash holes in walls sometimes during these overdoses. <clears throat> My Mormon mother, she remarried when I was nine. My Mormon mother, you know, she told me, maybe like, I don't know, at least 15 or 20 years ago now, she told me there was going to be flying AIDS. She told me, you're not going to be able to leave your house. told me, you leave your house, you're going to breathe in the flying AIDS. She also told me, though, that shortly after the flying AIDS comes, uh, so will the Messiah. So. so there's that, I mean, incoherent ramblings of a drug addict or I don't know. Now, I, I, I know you don't want to hear about a mask and how it may not be such a horribly oppressive, tyrannical idea. God forbid the idea behind a mask may actually be to save your stupid life from an unhinged AI that is taking complete, complete control over everything. Everything. Right. The idea that Tom Hanks eats babies is completely realistic, but an unhinged AI is just ridiculous? No, man, you're ridiculous. Yes, they've been lying to you about the Rona. Because if your average retard knew what was really going on, they'd lose their fucking minds. But it seems how you've made it all the way out here to the ends of the earth, I'm a figure you're not your average retard. <laughs> See, the blue screen wasn't supposed to necessarily be like this, but it was infected. It got corrupted and all of this Twitter banning and Facebook banning and censorship and account deletion is a scrambled effort toward regaining control of the blue screen to disinfect it, right? Trump's never been on Twitter. Cappy knew this. Cappy referred to himself as Judas many times. Go read the Gospel of Judas, then read it again as though it were the Gospel of Cappy. See, Cappy's on the other side of the blue screen right now. 
He hoped to be with us again someday, meaning he hopes you see through the blue screen illusion. He hopes you make it out here to the ends of the earth. Epstein's the keystone, and once you pull it out, hey, eh? That doesn't mean what the internet's convinced you it means, man. Epstein didn't kill himself? You're goddamn right he didn't. You have to be alive first to, to kill yourself, which a Jeffrey Epstein has never been. So, once you pull that out of the way, the blue screen becomes really quite evident and the whole house of memes collapses at your feet. But you don't want that now, do you? No. Your fucking memes are what give you the likes and the clicks and the dopamine hits. You're not going to dump your memes now, are you? So, fine. Don't consider the Gospel of Judas, then. Don't consider sharing this with your friends. Someday you're gonna, though. You're gonna real hard, but by then it's gonna be too late. By then, everyone's gonna know where you've been, and they're gonna hate your guts for not sharing what you found out here. They're gonna know that you knew. And they're going to know that you were too chicken shit to share an unpopular idea. Well, they're going to know because after the blackout and the internet comes back, it's going to be a whole different scene, motherfucker. You think a VPN is hiding where you've been? Do you think these messaging apps like Signal are, are really keeping you protected? Get real, man, okay? When it all comes back online, it's gonna be a whole new scene, all right? Everybody's going to know where everybody has been. Once they lift that blue screen, all right, there's no hiding from that light when it comes shining on down upon us all, okay? It's going to be evident as fuck, so. So there you go. Flying AIDS, man. Fine. I guess it's up to you. Do what you're going to do. Okay. Right on. Got a young one calling for me out of the back there. Got to go. So take care and talk to you again soon.